Hello guys, welcome along, hope you're doing well. We're back in Microsoft Flight Simulator for another how-to guide in the PMDG 737-800 and today we're talking FMC basics and how we load the aircraft using the ground handling equipment from within the FMC itself and also how we manually load an operational flight plan for a short hop from here in Birmingham over to Dublin. So let's jump inside the flight deck and get started. So down to the FMC then, firstly let's pull up our Simbrief flight plan so we have all the data on screen we need uh, to get the plane loaded with fuel, passengers and cargo along with the routing for our flight. And I'm just going to start by getting the aircraft into a typical state that the crew would find when changing over for a flight. So let's say we'll have 2.8 tonnes of fuel on board and then we will zero everything else so we can begin loading up using our ground services. OK, so in the FS actions menu we'll hit ground services uh, as we can see we've got the uh, ground power is active and if we come down and press next page that brings up our fueling screen and you can see the 2800 kilograms uh, fuel left from the previous flight and if we scroll down on our Simbri flight plan to our block fuel we can see that we need 5405 kilos of fuel so we'll round that up to 5500 and drop that into the target fuel and we will request our fuel truck, there we go, that says arriving, so that's all good. Uh, moving on then to the next page, where we can start loading our passengers. So, there we go, the, by default the front stairs are active, so if we request our rear stairs, that will start to arrive, and back over to the flight plan, if we come down to our weights section, uh, there we go, we can see that we need 118 passengers for today's flight, so we'll drop that in, and add it to our target, and there we go, as we can see, the start boarding button has turned green. So we can click that to start the passengers loading one by one, all the way up to our target of 118. We'll go on to the next page then, and baggage handling. And we'll start by requesting all our forward and aft loaders and carts, so they can all arrive. And in our target weights, if I come back over to the flight plan, we can see cargo, we need 2.9 tonnes, so we'll do 1,500 uh, in the front loader and say 1400 in the aft loader there were well, 1399 close enough and actually let's just hop back to our fueling page to see if we're ready to start uh, it still says arrive in um, there we go so we can now hit the start button for the fueling and that will start counting up from our 2.8 tons uh, that are already on the aircraft up to our target of five and a half tons good so let's just hop outside the aircraft then and have a look to see everything around. So there we go, there's our two stairs in place and typically for Ryanair they wouldn't normally have a jetway connected because they need the fast turnaround so you'd have the front and rear stairs for a flight such as this. Oh, there's the passenger bus. So that's all good, that's arrived. Uh, moving around to the far side then, uh, we can see the fuel truck is doing its thing and that's all attached and loading our five and a half tons of fuel. Now the baggage carts have arrived. I'm not sure you're supposed to drive the baggage carts over the fuel line, so uh, we'll pretend we haven't seen that. Um, but there we go, the baggage carts have arrived, so that'll start loading us up with cargo too. So that's all looking pretty good. So let's quickly monitor how the fueling is going. Uh, if we come through to our fueling page, which is here, and as we can see, yeah, so we're around about 4.1 tonnes at the moment, so we've got a little way to go yet. Uh, passengers are about halfway boarded, uh, and we can now start loading our cargo. Uh, still waiting for the aft carts to arrive, but um, we can start that as and when. So that's all working nicely. Good. So now we've got that going on outside the aircraft. Uh, while we wait for it to complete, let's go into the FMC and start uploading our flight plan. So let's open up the POS init page then so we can set our IRS position. And that's basically so the aircraft knows where we are in the world. So if you come to page two and hit the GPS left and that drops it in the scratch pad and then we can add it there and then we can add our reference airport for departure which is Birmingham which is EGBB uh, in fact if I come to the top of the flight plan we can see our route so yeah uh, EGBB and we are at gate 86 left drop that in and if we hit our route button that will pop the EGBB into our scratch pad and we can add that straight into our origin airport and then we are going over to Dublin which is EIDW so we put on the destination and our flight number 
is RYR107 and we drop that into the flight number. Okay so back to our Simbrief flight plan then if we scroll down to our routing section uh, we can start adding the waypoints in for our flight. Firstly let's add our departure runway 33 and if we hit the next page button that will bring us to the uh, screen where we add in our waypoints and for our departure the first waypoint we're looking for is Lovham. Uh, that's the first waypoint after the SID which we'll uh, add in shortly so uh, we add Lovham as our first waypoint and we are going direct to Nanty and after Nanty we can see we've got to add our first airway which goes on the left hand side which is the Yankee 5-3 airway uh, followed by the next waypoint which is Wall which goes back in on the right so you can see we're building a bit of a picture here and the next airway is the Lima 1-0 uh, going to Penel P -E N I close perfect you then want the uniform Lima 28 airway which takes us to Leldo just drop that in there we go and we'll just have to hit next page and we can enter our final airway uh, Mike 145 which takes us to AGSO. Okay, perfect. So we now activate the route and press execute, and that puts all those waypoints in. Okay, just quickly going back to check our progress on the fueling. Yep, so that's all finished, we can see there. So let's release the fuel truck and go next page, uh, next page, and the passengers are all loaded so we can release both sets of stairs and also the bus can go and moving on to our baggage uh, that's still oh now looks like the aft carts haven't arrived that might well be bugged um, but the, the forward loaders are still in progress so we'll, we'll leave that ticking over so back in the FMC then if we hit the departure and arrivals button uh, we can add our SID in for our departure so we're leaving on runway 33 via the Lovem one mic SID, so we add that and execute. And we can do the same for our arrival. Um, we normally do this in flight, but for the purposes of today, uh, we'll add it in now. And my air rack is out of date, so uh, it's saying that we're arriving on ILS 28 left instead of 28 right, so we'll go for that. And the same with the star, we'll be going in the Bagso 2 Lima, rather than the 3 Lima as it is on the flight plan. And execute that. And if we now press the legs button, we can just double check all those waypoints and make sure that there's no discontinuities or anything like that. Now we can just scroll through them and that all looks good. And then what we want to do is just um, go down to the nav display and pop it into plan mode. Uh, so if we just scroll that to plan mode and then we can go back to our legs page and just step through each waypoint just to make sure that everything looks right, there's no gaps or errors or any funny lines or anything like that and as we sort of go through the whole flight we can see that's all looking pretty good until we reach our star going into Dublin and yet yeah, that's all perfect all the way into runway 28 left and we've even got our missed approach is shown by the blue dotted line and that is pretty much it for manually uploading our flight plan in the FMC so what we want to do now is come back down and hit the init ref button which takes us to the perf init page where we can start adding some uh, performance data for our takeoff. So if we come back over to our Simbri flight plan and scroll back down to our weights section um, we're looking for our zero fuel weight uh, which is shown here at uh, 54 tonnes so we'll drop that in into the zero fuel weight and our reserves for today's flight now that's the FinRes plus alternate figure which you can find under our block fuel and we require 2291 so we'll, we'll round that up to 2.3 tonnes and add that uh, and the cost index is found at the top right of our flight plan which is 66 so that goes in there and uh, our cruise altitude is uh, sort of 
just sort of halfway down there on the right, flight level 280. So we'll add that in there. And the cruise winds again back up to the top right. Um, we've got 259 degrees at 60 knots. So let's add that into our wind at 60. Okay. And finally, let's add in 6,000 feet as our transition altitude and execute that. And that's all the performance data for takeoff. So come across and hit N1 limit. Now we don't need to change too much on this page for today's tutorial, so we'll go straight through to the takeoff page. And we're going to add 5 degrees of flaps for our takeoff. And we want to hit the button next to CG, which is center of gravity. And that gives us a trim setting of 5.19. And then we can just drop our V speeds in. That is pretty much everything we need to do in the FMC. And um, what we'd normally do next is come up to the MCP and start configuring the autopilot for takeoff. But um, uh, I'm not going to go into that today. In fact, I'll put up a link at the end of the video so you can check out my cold and dark uh, quick start guide. And that concludes today's FMC Basics tutorial. I uh, hope you found it interesting and learned something new. If you did, give it a like, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks very much for watching. Bye-bye.